G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we're looking at May 4th's uh, Mathrax by Clover. Uh, hello, my name is Bill, by the way. Uh, I'm one of our setters here at Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Before you ask, yes, I am recording this in bed. I did something to my back this week. No idea what. Um, but yeah, sometimes that's the break. Um, so, uh, this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, where we create genuinely approachable Sudokus for you, the genuinely approachable Sudoku consumer. Uh, you can find the link to this puzzle in the description down below. Um, along with some hat times, two hats is a very fast hat time, a very fast solve time, one hat is a pretty fast solve time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, Let's just get into it. Uh, so, this is Mathrax by Clover. Um, in this puzzle, uh, every box, row, and column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, um, that's what normal Sudoku rules apply means. So, in this puzzle, if a circle contains N plus, such as this one, here, which says five plus, then these two digits and these two digits must add to give the same total. Um, so up here, these two must sum to 11 and these two must sum to 11. That's it, that's the, that's the whole puzzle. Um, the link is in the description, give it a go. Um, but I'm gonna get into it now because uh, I've tested this one, this one is buttery smooth and I adore it. So, um, let's start all the way up in box one. So one plus four gives us five. Now these two cells need to be two and three. The three down here tells us which way around this goes. So that's two, that's three. Now two and nine make 11. Now there are four ways to make 11. There is two and nine, three and eight, which this one can't be, and four and seven, which this one can't be. Um, but there is also the beautiful, the lovely five and six. So this is five, this is six. Let's go to box three now. Two and three make, uh, two and three make five. Uh, five and six make 11, three and eight make 11. Now this has to be one and four. The one here tells us which way around this goes, one and four. Eight down here tells us which way around the seven, eight in this box go. That's eight, that must be seven. Uh, now, we need to make uh, 12 down here. Uh, we uh, almost have enough information to do that. We don't quite. What we do have is where do we put eight in box three? Well, eight and eight tell us that eight must go there. Seven over here tells us that this must be seven. So this is five and nine and three and, oh, we do actually know which way around this goes. Um, because this is five and nine, the matching pairs must be three and seven. So where does seven go? Seven goes down here, meaning that this must be five and this is nine. Uh, Let's do some more stuff while we're going. Uh, one and two in uh, row three, one and two go that way. Uh, seven and nine, we can't quite do, and this is three, four, six. We cannot quite do that just yet. Uh, let's place the three here, and this is a two. Uh, this could still be one, eight, or four, five. We do not know, which, uh, no, that's a lie. We do know which way around this goes. Four can't go anywhere else in the box, except here. So this is four, this is five. Um, all right, let's go down here um, because you better believe we can do all of that in reverse down here. So four and one make five, two and three, we know which way around those go. So this is two, this is three, this must be eight. Uh, same logic applies giving us uh, from box one, giving us this must be five and six. We know which way around those go. This is not nine, so this must, uh, this is not seven, so this must be seven, and this is nine. Uh, three and two, meaning this is two and nine make 11, six and five make 11. Uh, one and four, well, we know where four can't go down here, uh, or that four tells us both. Uh, so this is four, this is one. Seven and nine must be placed in uh, box seven somewhere. Uh, we know that it must be down there, uh, 
in the cells that I've already highlighted because of that. But this nine tells us which way around these go. So that's nine, that's seven. Uh, this is eight and six. We have the eight in column one telling us where that goes. This is five and seven. Uh, 10 plus uh, is equal to 7 plus 3. Uh, we know which way around these go because one. Uh, we know how to resolve this 10 because where does 1 go in column 3? 1 must go there. This must be 9. Uh, so we can place a 4 there and we can just do these 3 because there is only one digit left to place in all of those. Uh, this must be 9 and then 8 and then this is 1 and 6. Now we are just onto regular old classic Sudoku. Um, thank you to Clover for providing us with this buttery smooth puzzle. Um, five and nine. Um, give Clover a nice, say something nice to Clover in the comments. Um, yeah. We love read. We do read all your comments, by the way, and uh, the sweet ones make us blush. Um, I am very much a big blusher uh, when it comes to uh, reading sweet comments. Um, but this has been Mathrax by Clover. My name's still Bill Murphy, um, and you know, uh, have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. And yeah, cheers. <sighs>